My name is Jenny Montgomery, and I teach art at the Dayton Regional STEM School. Each person could work on a section, and then at the end, somebody would put it together. My responsibilities include teaching art content knowledge, giving students a variety of experiences with different mediums, techniques. It's really important for me to give my students an experience where they recognize themselves as creative beings and to have that opportunity to explore that part of themselves. Well, my program at this school is a little different than a traditional art program. At the Dayton Regional STEM School, we have a really strong emphasis on project-based learning. And project-based learning is really about engaging students with work that is real world. Ideally, we're working with a partner and sort of figuring out what their needs are that our students can fulfill while they're learning content. We're doing a project with the Newport Aquarium. The education director expressed these needs that he had for educational materials based in the next generation science standards. And so we were able to then say, well, our students can create this. So sometimes it's very project-based and it arises out of this very specific need. And then sometimes ideas just happen between teachers. Right now, our class is creating wearable fashion that incorporates technology. So the students are learning how to make circuits and using Arduino boards and writing code in order to control lighting and sound that's associated with their garments. So the so snap will be on the outside. Yeah, so there'll be two snaps on each, each side, one for the positive, one for the negative, and then those will run down the LEDs on the shorts. We just finished a project in which students were creating kinetic mobiles, so they worked with a professional artist. There were a lot of physics involved in that. Some of it was new to me, and that happens a lot when we collaborate. I'm not necessarily familiar with the content, but I can draw on the expertise of either other professional artists or other instructors in our school, which is really wonderful. This might be an opportunity for you to say, oh, I might be able to come over and help you with that. Like I know yesterday. When I think about my role as a teacher, I really feel like much more of a facilitator. I think those are the best days. And when I'm working on a project with students and I feel more like a visiting artist myself when I'm actually working alongside them and working with them and literally collaborating with the students. I have a bachelor's in art education. For my bachelor's degree, it was four years, and then I had to do student teaching at the end of that. And then you take a state board test that you have to pass in order to get your certification. I decided to be an art teacher because I really love working with people. I love collaborating. I love the synergy that comes from working with other people and sharing ideas. And I love teaching art. I feel really lucky to be in this position because this is such a wonderful school. It's a unique learning environment and opportunity. Things that I don't love as much. There are those moments when I feel more like a teacher in a very traditional sense where there's paperwork or there's cafeteria duty or detention duty or a discipline issue that I need to deal with, but they're just some of those duties that um, come with the job. Some of the early careers that I had were in social services, but in a very progressive organization that was really more about community building, and they actually hired artists to do community building through the arts. Toward the very end of my college career, I started a visual arts gallery. I directed that for like three years, and so I was showing my work, but at the same time I was doing student teaching and I was working on projects. I think some of the best advice I've had as a teacher is to teach what you love. As art teachers, we have this great opportunity to connect with people at a time in their lives that's really critical when they're sort of forming who they are. Okay, Mikaze, you guys, have you thought about any accessories that might work with this? I was so, thinking about like a purse or something like a clutch, but I wasn't sure. That's a great idea. And I have so many students that come in and say, I'm not creative, I can't do this. There are a lot of different ways that your creative capacities can be expressed, but I think it's also a way of thinking. It's about being able to see differently and think a little differently and be open to different ideas and be able to connect ideas to create something new. If we can foster that and connect people with that sort of innate creativity, those are skills that they can take and utilize for the rest of their lives, no matter what career they choose.